say about Tucker Carlson being fired from Fox. Then we're going to hear Newsmax give their piece on the ratings that Fox are experiencing right now. Then we're going to get into Megyn Kelly. She's going to get deeper into the ratings that Fox is experiencing right now. Then we're going to hear what Jordan Peterson has to say about Fox and their ratings and the Tucker Carlson situation. Then we're going to hear what Elon Musk has to say sitting alongside Bill Maher. And then we're going to discuss James O'Keefe and Tucker Carlson getting together. Pure speculation. It's one man's tweet, but I thought it was very interesting and it made me think of something that I actually forgot. But first, let's get right into this. Soul not for sale. What's going on? The site is up and running, guys. So get it, get it, get it. Every single sale helps us fight demonetization, fight us getting uh, our views, or not our views, our revenue limited, which happened just the other day. David Goggins, Dan Crenshaw video that I did right away. They're like, for some reason, I didn't say anything bad. I just, you know, allowed David Goggins to call out Dan Crenshaw. Boom, you can't have any revenue from this video out of nowhere as soon as it hits 25,000 views. So we're just fighting against that. Every single sale helps. So get that, get that merch. We also have some anti-WEF merch as well right here. We have it in white, black shirts, and uh, T-shirts coming. And also we have mugs, just to let you know. All right, let's get into the good stuff. Trump first. Let's hear it. I think it's a shame what happened to Tucker. He had the number one show. He was doing great. His show's very interesting. And he was out there in the sense that he was telling the truth. To me, the other ones are out there because they're lying and they're hiding and they're afraid to talk. Yeah. And Rubber in my opinion, points. Fox would not have had any award. Uh, the first thing they needed is a new law firm. But if you think about it, it's a platform. People go and they talk about the platform, whether it's elections or anything else. And they say the election was good, the election was bad. Everybody talks. They basically said the person holding the platform is libel. This was the craziest case I've ever heard. And to pay almost $800 million and they have other cases well, coming. Well, to a company that's tiny, right? I mean, if there's liability and you do damage, it's based on what the company is actually worth. This seems like it's worth multiple times what the company could ever possibly be worth, and yet they were willing to pay it. And it seems like that was to, designed to probably prevent, you know, a Rupert from having to testify or something like that. But it doesn't seem like a fiduciary responsible decision. I don't know how they could have lost the case if they had lawyers that would have talked about free speech, and if they had lawyers that would have talked about platforms. It's a news platform. That means every time somebody goes on the news, if they say something and if it's wrong, CBS or NBC fake news or ABC fake news, any of them, any of these uh, groups or outlets or platforms are going to be responsible for whatever said. It's ridiculous. You won't have any news there, but they ought to close up their, their news shows right now. So uh, I think losing Tucker, having Tucker not be there, is going to have a big impact and a very negative impact on Fox. And just so you know, Donald Trump, when he said this, he was actually right. We hadn't seen the stats coming out in terms of the ratings, but it turns out Donald Trump had the right idea. And can I just say, how is Donald Trump so with it and cognizant and able to talk and make decisions and he doesn't have any cue cards in front of him versus Joe Biden, who like, you know, I just saw reports of him like needing like a cue card of like who he's going to call on for questioning and how to pronounce their name and what questions they're going to ask. It's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. Take care of yourselves as you get older. That's all I can say. Take care of yourself as much as possible. Let's get into the next video. This is Newsmax, and they're going to be talking a little bit about what is they're going to be validating what Trump just said. Because there's there's some big percentages that are going on right now. Let's hear it. I don't know if you heard, but that Tucker Carlson is out at Fox <laughs> News. I don't know if no. you heard about that. Who? And we have seen a huge boom here at our ratings at Newsmax because yeah, yeah. people have realized, you know what? When you go woke, you go broke, and they 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 want they want to come to hear the news. They want to they want people to decide and not have it shoved down your throat. The network's viewership at Fox News is down. Tucker's slot there seeing a 41 percent decrease in viewers from the previous two weeks. I mean that's 
that's a precip I mean, that's like falling off a cliff. That's mm -hmm. massive mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. world of television and cable TV. But for more on this, let's welcome in columnist, columnist of. So I'm just going to go back to that real quick without them talking. But look at this. So from the 8 p.m. hour, which was when Tucker was on, it's down 41%. Then the total day, which is like, I didn't know if the total day would be affected. But this is just everybody throughout the day. You know, I, I, I have a few friends where they're like my whole fan, like my buddy, my buddy Hank was like, he's like, he's the only reason we watch Fox at all. He's like, there's no reason to watch anymore. And I thought that was just him, you know, because he's he's really into Tucker. He's always loved Tucker. And, uh, yeah, it's down 12%. And then here, I know my screen's covering it a little bit, but it says Prime. And that's down 25%. This is, that's nuts to have happen. Your total day for one person to leave and the total day is down 12%. Now, keep in mind, there were two other anchors who got let go, and this percentage can be a little bit of them, the whole total day thing and the prime, but that 8 p.m. hour, 41% down, that's all Tucker. That is all Tucker. Absolutely wild. Let's hear what Megan Kelly has to say. She goes a little deeper. She actually really, they're, they're just kind of giving you a, a, a overview, but Megan Kelly actually goes deep into it. Let's hear it. 57,000 in the key audience. This is, this is just shocking to me. They got 1.33 million. That was below the 7 p.m., below the 6 p.m. And compare it with Tucker's the previous week of 3 million. 3 million down to 1.3 million in a week's time. I just, I, like, it's absolutely stunning. In the key demo, the previous week, Tucker had gotten 357,000 in the key audience demo. The 8 p.m. now, 124,000. 124 down from almost 400,000. They lost again to CNN and MSNBC. The 8 p.m. is now losing to Anderson Cooper and Chris Hayes. It doesn't happen. It's never, it doesn't happen. This is. You can obviously hear Megyn Kelly is shocked. But, I mean, I know most of you that are watching are not shocked because it's Tucker. But to hear that the the company, Fox, that was once so far above because of Tucker is now losing to Anderson Cooper, that's like, wow. Wow. Anderson Cooper. Oof. CNN's, ha CNN's probably having a great time. They're probably justifying their lacking numbers based on Fox's lacking numbers. They're like, see, we're right up. We're like nose and nose with these guys now. Let's hear what Jordan Peterson has to say. Now, this is just a tweet, but and it's a tweet based on what Megyn Kelly just said. But <laughs> Jordan Peterson is uh, having a good time. Bye bye, Fox News. You won't survive your latest mistake. But Tucker Carlson will emerge stronger than ever, which is what I think everybody's been saying. He's going to emerge very strong. It's going to be incredible when he decides to actually make his move, which we're going to talk about in a second. And uh, I can't wait to see it. And again, you know, I know James O'Keefe's people there. They've seen my channel. If Tucker sees this, you need a producer. You need you need help. You need anything. Let me know. Let me know. I'm here. Um, <laughs> but let's let's uh, see what Elon Musk, Bill Maher. Let's see what they have to say now. Let's get right into it. It's not doing bad, right? I mean, I saw today that Tucker Carlson yeah. recently fired. You were just on his show and he lost his job, so I hope this isn't an well, old Yeah, man. yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> what are you, the uh, angel uh, of death? You go yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I'm not, not the typhoid Mary of uh, no. <laughs> talk shows. Uh, <laughs> but his, for some reason, people but just his, get fired out. His uh, rant yesterday, or today on Twitter, did it yesterday or something? Uh, or it did more than, yeah. than every cable news monologue or yeah. something like that. Is that right? Well, t Twitter has a tremendous audience. So there's 250 million people that uh, spend an average of half an hour a day on Twitter. So it's about 120 to 130 million user hours per day, and it's been increasing. So um, the, we didn't do anything, to be clear. We did nothing special whatsoever. I, I learned about it afterwards that he had posted something on Twitter. Mm. Um, so it's just the Twitter has a lot of people's attention. Uh, so and it, it tends to be the people that are uh, that read read a lot or or are interested in current events um, and um, generally are pretty influential. So 
real quick I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over here now I'm just gonna show you guys something really quick in this Increasing. video so 130 million you let's uh let's see where he just did that right around the time he said we did nothing special for Tucker all of a sudden see that see that hand sign he's doing see like this hand sign is very interesting to me right and again maybe i'll put on my tinfoil hat here you know get it nice and snug but every time i see trump talk he makes this sign like anytime i see these outsiders these people who seem like real outsiders now i know people can say elon musk is like this evil guy this and that uh because of what he has going on and believe me i've been one of those people i mean he's saying that he wants to put chips inside people's heads like right away for me that's a red flag um <laughs> no matter who you are but he still is an outsider based on like tech billionaires and just the things that he does. And he makes this sign. Trump makes that sign a lot. And I know some people think Trump's not an outsider, but he is. I mean, you can tell by the way he acted in his presidency, acted towards the queen, how the queen treated him. Like it's just obvious outsider. And then also I noticed Andrew Tate do it quite a bit also. Another person who's an outsider and has been pretty uh, demonized throughout the past 12 months. So just just something that I noticed really quick. But let's get back to the actual topic. More views than all of cable news. Now, when I posted that video of Tucker Carlson speaking for the first time since, since the whole incident or the ousting, I knew it was a big thing just because we'd all been waiting to hear him say anything. But to to have it be more views than everything on on cable news is crazy absolutely crazy so very very interesting very interesting and it brings me to the next topic of somebody oh and just so you know that hand sign that i'm talking about that's from what i've heard it's like an anti illuminati they're like taking that sign that they do and they're like flipping it upside down as like a middle finger kind of thing uh that's what i've heard don't actually know never uh never been to the illuminati parties myself but uh let's go on to this gentleman omg wait till everyone sees what tucker carlson has planned now this is a tweet. Somebody brought this to my attention in the comment section, and thank you so much for that. I'm sorry I didn't get your name. I apologize, but I definitely saw that you wrote this and um, or that you you brought light to this. So thank you. Um, so it's OMG. Obviously, he's giving reference to James O'Keefe. I mean, you know what grown man, what grown man is saying OMG, right? None, unless you're talking about O'Keefe Media Group, right? So maybe Tucker has something planned. Here's the thing. We won't know whether or not Tucker is teaming up with James O'Keefe until July 4th, because that's when James O'Keefe plans on actually, that's when James O'Keefe plans on releasing the content that he's going to be, that he's going to be giving to us via the uh, subscription based model that he has planned. Um, I know because I'm subscribed and July, July 4th is the time that he's going to be doing that. So if July 4th hits and we see Tucker Carlson and James O'Keefe, I mean, yeah, you're going to you're going to see my hat whatever color it is, it's going to turn red cuz my head has exploded, my cranium has came apart and my brain matter is like releasing into the hat and I'll have to go to the hospital. That's what you'll see. Um but uh <laughs> but it's pure speculation. This gentleman uh, listen, I I shouldn't say anything, but I don't think he knows for sure. I think it's a speculation that we've all made and I think it's something that we all want to see because Tucker Carlson and James O'Keefe, you already know, I've, I've talked about this before. It would be like Christmas. It'd be Christmas in July. It'd be the best time of my life. <laughs> and again, I would travel to wherever they were and I would, I would travel there, knock on doors until I find them and be like, I'm here to work. I, I would 100% do that. And you'd see me wearing this hat, wearing a suit. That's how I would do it. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to break that whole thing down. Fox is losing it. And honestly, I'd love to see it. If the reasons that they got rid of him were for malice and for bowing down to certain, you know, pharmaceutical companies then or BlackRock or whatever, if that's the reason, 
then good riddance. Like, I'm glad to see this happening to them. Um, but, you know, at the same time, don't wish poorly on anybody who works there because that's their livelihood. I hope everybody, you know, is able to support their family. I know how hard it is. You know, I'm starting a family right now, and it's so scary. So I don't want to see anything bad to happen to anybody. But, yeah, this is what happens when you get rid of somebody who is telling the truth, who is being interesting, who is being genuine, who is being honest, who is bringing pure entertainment to people while expressing the truth. You get rid of a superstar, you're going to fall off a little bit. It's just the way it goes. Other than that, I'm out.